Fellow UK dwellers, you know the score. It's been ridiculously hot this week. It's been sticky, it's been sweaty, and it's just been a straight up bad time. My sleep's been suffering, my training's been suffering, so I'm gonna need something for today's workout. Something strong, something that's gonna wake me up before I go-go. Something that's going to crush my skull. What is up guys, we are back again. And this time we have yet another amazing gift that a client got me. This was from, I think it was two Christmases ago. It's hard to tell what time is what after COVID, but I think I got this about two Christmases ago um, and it's Skull Crusher Coffee, which up until recently was the strongest coffee on the UK market. So I am a little bit tired today. I started training people at about 4.45 this morning. I'm really, really tired. So I'm gonna need something to wake me up. And this looks like just the thing. So guys, I am waiting for this to cool down a little bit. I am a little bitch when it comes to hot drinks and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna let this kind of cool down. And yeah, I just wanna kind of reflect for a little bit of a moment here. Now, due to COVID, all the machines in the gym had to move into this meeting room uh, and as a way of, you know, kind of like spacing out the machines to make way for social distancing. So I've not been in this room for the best part of like 18 months. And it's so insane to think that I'm shooting my own YouTube videos here now because one of my favorite routines before I started lifting weights was coming in this room, decompressing and just really getting that mind and muscle connection, really thinking about the workout in hand. So it's kind of surreal now that I am doing my own YouTube video in this room. So yeah, we are gonna do a taste test of this skull crusher. Now, I've got a bit of a funny relationship with caffeine in that when it comes to energy drinks and pre-workouts, I am very dependent on them and I'll fully admit that. But when it comes to coffee, I'm kind of sensitive with my caffeine intake. I don't want to have any unnecessary caffeine so I don't get used to it. Because basically, if you have caffeine too much and you do get too dependent on caffeine, you will hit adrenal fatigue and your body quickly gets used to that high caffeine intake. So any sort of like tea, coffee, I try and avoid as much as possible, but I forgot some pre-workout today and I'm willing to try this instead. So it's a little bit cooler, so let's give it a go. Oh my God, that is an angry drink. Wow, some really rich flavors coming through there. I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm one of those pretentious coffee snobs because this just tastes like coffee, but. That is a feisty beverage, oh my goodness. I can feel it awakening the primal anger of my ancestors. I'm becoming a bit of a caveman after this. That's so nice. So guys, basically, uh, I'm just gonna take you off the tripod real quick and I'm gonna show you the workout in hand today. All right guys, so we're gonna start pretty soon because I can already start to feel this kicking in. We're doing a bit of a bro arm workout today, basically because it feels wrong to do anything but skull crushes on the day we're trying skull crusher coffee. So we're gonna do basically these two exercises like pretty straight off the bat. So we're gonna do three sets of 12, 10, and then eight on the skull crushes. We're gonna go down and on the incline dumbbell curl, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start with eight, and then we're gonna increase the reps to 10 and 12 while decreasing the weight. We're then gonna go into three sets of 12 reps on the barbell tricep extension. Two sets of 21s on the incline bicep curl machine. Now, the reason I do it on the curl machine is because I think the tendency on 21s is to swing and really help yourself out with different muscles, but the machine keeps you strict and it humbles you. We're doing a cable superset on the bar push down and the rope curl. Bit of a reason before this, um, the bar EMG studies show 
that the bar is best for the tricep activation. And the rope curl, purely anecdotally, I think it just feels good, mate. So we're gonna use the rope and then we're gonna finish off with two sets of 15 tricep kickbacks. So, all in all, that was a pretty solid workout, actually. I didn't really expect much from coffee because, I don't know, it doesn't really have the other stuff that is inside, like, pre-workouts, like the beta alanine and some of the other chemicals, but the focus was unreal and I had a pretty good pump on, which I've now filled with my first dose of the vaccine. The only real downside was the hotboxing of my own mask with my own coffee breath, but other than that, pretty sick workout. So, I'm just getting my steps in right now. I'm gonna basically walk the scenic route home gonna go via the company shop see if there's any cheap expired goodies for me today and I'm gonna check back with you guys once we get back home and we're gonna run through some caffeine science see you guys soon but before we do here's my haul from the company shop so we got the essentials the almond milk the egg whites which they don't normally have but when they do obviously I jump at the chance we got some zero fat from our shrey and some skier which is always good to have and some turkey twizzlers for the nostalgia gains we got some popcorn, strawberries, sugar-free jelly, Nutri-Grain for the absolute amazing pre-workout buzz, and some vegetarian gelatin. All right, guys. So I told a lie. Pretty much back in the disco room, which isn't as disco-y today. Um, as soon as I got home, I was really, really tired, so I just went straight to sleep. It's kind of ironic that the first time I've slept all week was after I've tried the UK's strongest coffee, but hey ho. So guys, here is some caffeine science. I'm gonna put this up real quick for the cliff notes. If you wanna print screen that at any point, even for the sick drawings. So basically, the FDA recommend that you have 400 milligrams a day, no more. Now, it is just a recommendation, but it is the FDA, so the recommendation's probably there for a reason. So, 400 milligrams a day, you can have two and a half monsters, so pretty generous. 10 cans of Diet Coke, so unless you're Donald Trump, don't think you should be having that much anyway. And five shots of espresso. So, to see a performance benefit, you're looking for three milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So, for an average Joe E, like me, 75 kilograms of body weight means you should be having about 2 to 5 milligrams of caffeine before you train to see the added benefit. So that's normally a kind of a scoop of pre-workout, maybe, you know, kind of rain or something slightly stronger than a monster. Now, the reason that's recommended to have caffeine before you train is because it does reduce fatigue. Basically what it is, there is a drowsiness chemical called adenosine and caffeine basically just switches it off messes with your nerve receptors and reduces feelings of tiredness, fatigue. And in terms of running races, you can probably go faster for longer. And in terms of lifting weights, you could probably get out a few more reps, which will therefore increase strength, increase muscle mass, etc. So however, this does work both ways. So you'll probably know someone yourself who can't sleep after they've had a Diet Coke at nine in the morning. Personally, I love caffeine. I can have some of the most nuclear pre-workout possible and I can go straight to sleep and I'll be fine. My mother, she has one Jager bomb on Saturday night. She has an insomniac by Thursday still. So it is what it is. So even with all this science, I think it is totally personal. So your mileage may vary on caffeine, but I do recommend taking caffeine before training because a study a while ago with two rugby teams was collected and basically two teams played each other one team was sleep deprived with caffeine 
one of the other guys, the other team, was well rested without, and it turns out a caffeinated group absolutely smashed the other team. So again, if you guys have had a long night out on the drink, a caffeine apparently can do more than a good night of sleep. Not that I'd recommend taking caffeine over sleep. Ideally, you should be, you know, maybe messing with both. But I think if you guys are in terms of having a bit of a rut in the gym, I think it's certainly worth experimenting with caffeine to see how it's going to improve your progress and your enjoyment out of the gym, to be honest, because if you're going to be a little bit buzzing, I think you're going to get more from the workout. So guys, that's the end of the video. A um, quick few shout outs to Skull Crusher Coffee for supplementing me with this amazing stuff. Tom underscore Stoneborn Workouts on Instagram for getting me in the first place and most importantly you for watching the video. Thank you so much guys, it means a lot. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.